Hey guys, um, I'm going to make a video showing you how to make your um, Call of Duty NAT type either moderate or open so it's not strict anymore. Um, there are a few different things you can do like allowing the program through the firewall. So what did they you could search for firewall, allow a program through Windows firewall come down here, here we have Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies, so if you make sure you tick them, and tick so it's open on, I don't know if, you have, if you're on a public network or your home network, then it, just tick whatever, I have it on both because why not, um, so they're both ticked, I have that for um, Call of Duty 4 and Modern War as well, all ticked so I can access them and have an open AT. You press OK, you go back to the game, see if it's done anything. If not, I will show you how to forward ports. Um, first of all, what you want to do is you want to type in CMD, open that. Now, from here, you type in ipconfig. And here, it will give you basically just a summary of all your um, connections. I'm, on, I'm using an Ethernet cable to my router. <coughs> So for me it's local area connection, if you're on a wireless network it will say wireless network connection. Always go for the top one. See here I have VirtualBox and Hamachi. We don't want them. We want this one here. This uh, Here we have the IPv4 address which is which is my the address for my computer. So that's the address that I connect to to the router. Uh, the default gateway is 192.168.1.254 for my router. It might be different for yours. I'm on BT, so that's what mine is. Um, so what we want to do is you want to go to your browser and type in what your default thing is. Here I have this. Go to settings. Go there. I go into my advanced settings. Continue port forwarding. And here I have some of these things. Now I have Xbox Live onto my computer because that just opens some ports that <coughs> would be good. Um, I also have tried make sure you have your UPnP on um, and DMZ um, enabled. Uh, I have my D I have my computer put in the DMZ, so all ports are open. And for some reason, my game still sets strict, but I um I just put it in DMZ and then I port forwarded as well just to be sure. So on here I have a list, but it'll probably say for you to put in your IP. So that's where you need to put in a static IP. So if you go here, open network and sharing, change adapter settings. If you right click your right click your thing, go uh, if you right click, go to properties, internet protocol version 4, properties. Um, in my router, I, it actually gives me the option of setting it from the router, not from the computer. But if you have the option in your router, then do that. But here you can put in point one point anything that goes up to the 254. So I'll put in 1.88. Uh, subnet mask, that's automatic, that's that that is. Now the default gateway is what you saw before, so that's what you connect through in your browser. And your DNS is the default gateway. There we go. So if you press OK, close that. And that is still connected. Go test if it is actually connected. Yeah, everything works. So now if you go into the game, now we're in the game, go to online. <coughs> and there we go, NAT open. And hopefully you should say that sometimes mine goes back down to moderate, but most of the time it doesn't really make a difference of who I can connect to and who I can't. Um, so thanks for watching, I hope I helped. Um, if if you are uh, try, try not to ask any 
questions about other routers because I have no idea about any other routers. If you have a BT router, then I can. If you have a BT home hub, then I can. I can probably help you. That's about it. So thanks.